Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Step Space, and welcome back to my community show. God, they get so annoying sometimes. I don't know why I do it, but I think it's, you know, got to do the whole, want to draw everybody in with a flashy, high energy, blah, blah, blah. We all know I'm not high energy. <sighs> I can't even talk right. Anyway, today on our community show, oh, shoot, I'm supposed to do the whole introduction. Well, for those of you who don't know, the community show is where we take about... I don't know, 15, 20 minutes away from playing video games to talk about video games and the community. In this case today, we're not actually talking about video games so much as we're talking about something I do for this channel. Yes, I know. I promised last week that we would do another um, episode of uh, Parts to a Good Game. But I'm working on a script for that one because I don't want to get things wrong for what I want to talk about next. <laughs> so I'm kind of pushing that one a little bit to the next week. It's not going to be any controversial or anything or anything like that. It's just uh, graphics-wise. And as we all know, I don't know anything about graphics. So tune in for... Silence! So tune in for that one next week when we're going to talk about graphics in video games. Anyway, today's topic... Silence, you! Anyway, today's topic is Tim. Yes, Tim. We're going to talk about Tim. I don't think I've ever actually addressed him on this show. So, for those of you who aren't in the know, as I usually say for some reason, Tim is the fictional character I have set in the Fallout universe. Now, I figured, first of all, let's talk about the show. Um, the show, Tim, Biography of a Man. Um, Biography of a Man, I, I left really open so that if something happens to Tim, like say I get tired of making Tim, I can do another episode or another show. Biography of a Man, Greg, or Biography of a Man, Susan. You know, in case I get tired of Tim, I have other options, so I don't want Biography of a Man to just end with Tim. And so, this is technically just Tim's saga. What are we going to do with Tim? Tim, let's see, Tim, well, first of all, I want to go on record as saying there's no actual set day that I'm going to release um, episodes of Biography of a Man. Only because there's a lot of work that goes into it. I just basically guarantee there's one a month. <laughs> but now, the show itself is a really time consuming effort because not only do I have to play the game, I have to play the game in such a way as to get the proper shots. Now, it gets difficult, you know, some of the, some of the things, like this scene right here. Um, it was actually four different clips that I spliced together. Yeah, I know, a little movie magic there for you. But it, the original shot was just me running up, seeing the guys, and then running past them. But the new one, it's like I ran up, and then turned the camera around so that I could see them. It was a new, uh, that was a separate clip. And then when I turned back around to face Tim again, will you be quiet, phone? When I turned the camera ba back around to face Tim as he ran off the bricks there, was a separate scene altogether. And uh, after that, it's like, wow, <laughs> yeah, took four different scenes. All four of the scenes, or, yeah, all four of the scenes were uh, actually about 10 to 15 minutes long. Now, I know that sounds weird, but it wasn't a matter of just me running up and running through, because that was easily, you know, a minute at most. Uh, but it was all about, I ran up, ran through, reloaded, ran up, ran through, Reloaded, ran up, ran through, and I'm like, okay, which one of those looks best? <laughs> that was fun. I like this. It's amazingly fun. I never thought it would be. I mean, I like writing stories, but I like making stories. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the writing part or the making part. That's what I really like about the Tim saga, or the Biography Man saga altogether, is I get to make a story. And I love doing that. You can see the passion and excitement in my face as I do this. Um, at the same time, like, when we go into Diamond City, I kind of focused a little bit more on the whole, uh, 
like the world of Fallout 4. So you can see like the Brahmin, the lady talking about the Brahmin, the synths and everything. That's helping to build up to the story so we can get Tim kind of involved in the story. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet or why I'm going to do that yet or, you know, any of the I'm going to do that yet sort of thing. I have an idea. I have the idea for next episode and that's literally as far as I've gotten so far. <laughs> So let's talk about Tim himself now. Tim himself is an unfortunate, unfortunate soul. See, he lived basically day to day. He didn't like his life. He didn't, wasn't particularly hating it or anything, but he didn't particularly like it. It wasn't exciting, wasn't thrilling, no fun. But in a way, he actually liked it that way. And then when the world ended and he got frozen like a, like I put in the episode, uh, last night's casserole, um, he, uh, his whole world was just gone. Now, naturally, that's what happens in an apocalypse, the whole world's gone. But true to his usual fashion, he was 20 minutes late after, uh, after, you know, the whole situation. He woke up 20 minutes after Greg. Greg is technically the main character of Fallout 4. The lone survivor, as it were. And Tim is just kind of following in his footsteps, following behind him, like, by 20 minutes. But Tim doesn't want to be involved. <laughs> he doesn't want people. See, technically, he's good at some things, but he just doesn't like to be around people. And that's, that's some people are like, some people are like that. I mean, I myself have a reticence about being around too many people. It makes me nervous. <laughs> but, you know, that's no problem. Uh... So that's, that's basically why Tim keeps running away from things, you know, not counting the monsters that want to eat him, because we all know why he's running away from that. But, like, he ran away from Sanctuary, not so much out of fear of hard work, but more of not wanting to work with other people. And uh, then he built himself a nice little house, and then more people showed up. Next episode, hopefully, is going to be hilarious. I have an idea for what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to spoil it, though. Hopefully, I can make it work. That's the biggest reason why I don't want to spoil anything in case I can't make it work. But, you know. Oh, anyway, I, I ser sincerely hope you guys are enjoying the Biography of a Man series. Um, it relies a lot on dry humor, which is kind of very hit or miss. <laughs> Not even kind of, just very hit or miss. Some people like dry humor, some people don't. And I personally am a big fan of dry humor if it's well delivered. Like, that's why the narrator is so very passive, talking quietly and, you know, monotone. Tim, how could you think to do that? And yes, that is my voice, just in case you weren't sure. I do that voice quite well, and I do it quite often. Hmm. Then Tim built himself a nice gate, but there was a problem with it. <laughs> uh, I actually particularly like that one because it's all subtle, you know, he's got the, he built the gate and then he built some fences around it to make sure it was actually sealed, but that's literally all he built. He didn't build a fence all the way around his little encampment and uh, that was fun. It's like, Tim, why didn't you, oh, never mind. <laughs> so technically he does have an aversion to some hard work, but mostly just, it's kind of a procrastination aversion. You know, I can do it later. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I hope you guys have been enjoying the show, and I intend to keep going for a while. Um, there's some plans down the future, down down the line in the future for kind of integrating him into the storyline somehow. Um, I have plans for him to work with some of the main characters of Fallout 4, and that, that could be kind of interesting. Um, one of the biggest things I did was I took away the pressure. Because, you know, if Tim was Greg, he'd be pressured to keep going after his son. And so I would just have to follow the storyline out until we got the son. For those of you who don't know Fallout 4, sorry, spoilers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want that kind of pressure. So that's why Tim became the man he is today. A single lone wanderer, lone survivor. He's not the lone wanderer because that was New Vegas, I think. Eh, doesn't matter. Uh, but I've always been a fan of the Fallout universe, which is why I chose this game to be the particular biography of man. I, I don't have three or, or New Vegas, otherwise I would have chosen those two, and I could have had a much more unfortunate character. But I kind of like the way Fallout 4 works with it. You know, I've got, uh, he was frozen, so he's basically the same person he was. He hasn't had time to 
you know, grow up in the wasteland like in New Vegas or, you know, live in a vault for, you know, however long he's been alive, as in Fallout 3. So it's like, you know, Fallout 4 was actually kind of a better idea because we still got the same mentality he did, except now panic thrown on top of it. <laughs> Oh, anyway, that's all I've got for you for today. I promise, uh, promise, promise next week we'll get back into uh, my uh, parts of a good game. I just don't want to muck up the whole graphics idea because, you know, it, it's kind of a touchy issue for some people. Some people think graphics aren't important at all. Some people think graphics are the most important part of a game. And I'm going to get into that next week. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please go and poke that like button for me. If you'd like to, you can leave a comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, when I can, if I can. You know all that jazz. And tune in next time for when we're going to be doing what I just talked about. And yeah, until then. <laughs>